High inflation and fears of a recession have many Americans wondering what to do with their 401k retirement investments. I am one of those people, and those fears hey, have been... Too. Exactly. Yeah. Who, who isn't these days? Yeah. Well, those fears have only been magnified because the U.S. stock market is in bear territory, and that means stocks have fallen at least 20% from their most recent peak in January. CBS News Money Watch reporter Amy Peakey says, quote, younger investors who've never experienced such a decline and older investors who are closer to retirement might be tempted to bail or switch strategies. And Amy Peakey joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Amy, we've been kind of just talking amongst yeah. ourselves and, and debating this, and it's really unclear what to do. Everyone says, look, don't worry about the stock market. It's a long-term investment. Just breathe. Meanwhile, we're watching our <laughs> retirement savings dwindle, the folks who do have this. What is the best advice for those on the fence at this point? Yeah, well, I've been talking with experts about this, and it's really important to remember that investing is partly about psychology. And, yeah. you know, partly you need to remember that um, there's a lot of research in how your behavior can influence your stock market returns or your 401k returns. For instance, behavioral economists have found that the more you check your 401k balance, the lower your long-term re return will be. And that's because of psychology. You know, you're looking at your 401k, you're getting freaked out, maybe you decide to sell, right at the time when you shouldn't sell. You have to remember that market timing is an impossibility. That's basically like saying you can guess the future. So one thing that uh, experts say is, you know, don't check every day. Um, keep your long-term goals in mind. And remember that, you know, bear markets are actually fairly common and, you know, they the markets always come out of those bear markets. So keep that long-term view in mind. You know, the other thing that is happening right now that's impacting investors is not only the stock market volatility, but inflation. We have the hottest inflation in 40 years, and that's causing uh, some investors to actually stop investing in their 401ks. Schwab did a new study on people who have 401ks, and they found that 15% of people with 401ks are reducing their contributions due to inflation. Now, it's really hard when you're trying to make a choice between your groceries today and your long-term uh, retirement outlook, but an invest uh, experts say it's best if you can, again, keep that long-term view, um, avoid cutting your contributions um, because you're putting your long-term financial health at risk. So, you know, along those lines, you know, talk to an advisor. A lot of corporate 401k programs offer advisors that you can talk with. Uh, keep that long-term view in mind and don't check your 401k every day. That is fascinating. The more you check it, the lower it's likely to be. That's I pretty stunning. I literally wrote this down. Don't check every day. But here's another thing. Okay, Amy, wow. you got to make me smart on this. Your article discussed this number, drum roll, please. $1.7 million dollars being the sweet spot of how much many Americans need to put away. Mm. $1.7 million, just trying to afford groceries and gas. That's not realistic, right? Is there a gap between what Americans say they want to save and what they're actually putting away? I mean, I just hear that number and I go, what? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a really good point. They're asking people, how much do you think you need in retirement? And they're saying 1.7 million. Um, but if you look at the numbers, most American have, Americans have much less than that saved. Actually, the average 401k um, has about $140,000 saved in it. So that, that's a huge difference between what people say they need and what they actually have. Um, even people close to retirement have about $250,000 saved. And that's, again, a huge gap. Um, but you, they, Schwab, this came from Schwab, and Schwab also asked, how likely are you to get to $1.7 million? And only about half of people said they're likely to get there. So even though Americans say this is what they like, the most of them realize they're not going to get there. And that underscores the retirement gap in America um, that you know most people realize they need a certain amount, but they're probably not going to get there. And this um, survey doesn't even include the one quarter of Americans with no retirement savings at all. Um, you know, most of those people end up living on Social Security and maybe some other um, income, like maybe working part time in retirement. But, you know, I talked with experts about this, like this might seem hard for most people to reach. Um, but they said, look, you know, start small, start saving, especially if you're young. You have compound interest that's going to help you over time. Um, and you might be surprised by the time you get to retirement how much you've saved. You're so right. Compound interest, two important words. Amy, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.